Dark City, baby. DunkTV.com family, what's up, man? Yo, this is crazy, man. We in Philadelphia right now at the Wachovia Center with the one and only Mr. 720. What's up, man? Yo, check it out, man. This right here is historical right now, right? We about to give him, we about to give him Street Ball Dunker of the Year, man. 2006, 2007. Check this post out, man. It's crazy. It's mad like that, right? We're gonna also give him the trophy halftime, man. So, this, 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 this go way back. This is not Texas, a little small town in uh, Texas, south of Texas. Uh, real, real small town. Probably like maybe two, three thousand people in the country town. And, and so, by it being a country town, you had you had no influences dealing with basketball. Or was it anybody, or you the only place person that came from? I mean, we have a lot of uh, sports guys from Hitchcock. Not really, like really major. We got a uh, got a guy in the NFL right now. We had a guy that was in NBA back in the day. But like ever since then, like I'm just doing that. That's the Hitchcock right now. So I'm really bringing a big buzz to this. I really put them on the map. Like exactly, exactly. So what high school did you go? To? Oh, let's let's go let's go to junior high and then high school. Uh, junior high, I did junior high in Houston, a little school called Lee City Elementary. Then I went to uh, high school. I had to I had to leave schools. So, uh, I went from a five A school to a three A school. I went to uh, Wow, wow, wow. And when you went to high school, like what what started you dunking? What started me dunking? Um what started me dunking? Actually I had an older cousin that was a, a senior in my freshman year. My first year I played back on my freshman year. Uh, I went to one of his games as a freshman year in football season. And I seen him like dunking, it was like it's real exciting. So like when I went to the court, I tried to, you know, try to get up there, try what I could. Like, it wasn't happening, but it was like it just I felt determined to get that done. Right. Like once I started dunking, it's like I, I loved it so much. That's all I did, 24 7. I come home from, from practice all right. game, and I'd be outside the front yard just practicing all different types of dunks and right. doing all different stuff. Did you do anything extra for your jumping ability? Um, I've never done nothing, nothing like never no weight, no weight uh, exercise, none of that, none of the strength to do. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It came natural. It came so, I mean, was you a track star? I mean, was um, you used to run? I was a, uh, actually, I, I played football when I was young. I used to flip a lot, so that's where it might come from that. Okay, okay. So, your first dunk, was it in the game? My actual, my actual first dunk was actually, they called it a goal to my freshman year in high school. My first year I was playing basketball, I called one off the rim. I dunked it in with two hands, and they called goal to the so My first dunk that count was uh, actually after the season. It was uh, doing all the after the postseason things. Right. My friends dunked first. We both dunked the same. Dunked the same day. My first dunk. I came right behind him and dunked it. Just like, you know, right, right. Well, how, how was that feeling? Man? Oh, it was a great feeling. It really, it actually hurt it. The first time I touched the rim, this whole right. thing was just swollen. Right, right. right. Man, I ain't know what to do. When you keep practicing the dunks, yeah. man, you know it, it keep it keep it keeps hurting and it swells up and everything, man. So, so then after that, once you started getting the dunks, you know, going on. So, how did you start getting fancy with the dunks? Uh, it actually started with like accidental dunks. I go up and I jump wrong and I do like I move and I just make up a duck and it's just like from now it's like oh this is something real nice so right I go home and I be playing like some of my friends are like an eight and a half foot ring. <laughs> I just do all crazy Boom, stuff. Right? But then, you know when I really started jumping I just started trying it on the team so it's like I'm doing it at home practicing on it by the time I get like high enough to jump and do it on the team I just feel like I feel comfortable with it since I've right. been doing it so I just transfer it to the ten foot goals so exactly you know, exactly. Wow, man, that's exciting. That's why we do the donkey camps and clinics, man, because we got these kids jumping on eight foot. We adjust the rim, yeah. and we adjust them. These kids are getting busy yeah. with it. And so when, when they get older, they don't even know. They don't have the agility to already do, do, do their dunks, man. Already. Exactly, exactly. So you went to high school, and then what about college? Uh, I actually went to a D1 college right out of high school, uh, Utah University of Texas. Yeah, Utah, yeah. yeah. I went there for a year. I registered my freshman year. Okay. Uh, then my recruiting coach, he left. So it was like I really didn't feel comfortable in the school. So right. I left too. I went to a junior college in Dallas, Texas. Okay. Uh, we're some college. We did pretty good. Um, went to nationals, came in third in the nation. Right. Uh, I got freshman of the year and defender of the year. Right. And going on to my second season in uh, junior college, I broke my foot for the first time. Uh, uh, right. Right. Put a pin in there. Right. I did my rehab. Came right. back for the next season. I was good. Right. Third game in the season, I broke it again. Wow. So I had to sit out a whole nother year. And then after that, it was like I went to NAIA. Uh, Okay. Played there one year. I dropped out from being a coach. Kept getting into it. It was a bad situation. Right. Bad situation. Right. So it was like it was better for me just to leave. Go take care of my little girl. My little girl was just born. And okay. That year, so I, uh, I came back home. Got me a little job at uh, security. Right. So I worked at security for maybe maybe three weeks, three and a half weeks, and I took that Saturday off and came up and played one half. That was it.
was it. Wow, wow. And he was practicing in between that time. He was so you already was doing the crazy dunks at Utah. Is that what you? Yeah, said? I, I did. I, I was doing like I think I started doing my crazy dunks maybe my junior year. I started really dunking my sophomore year. Right, junior year. That's when I started doing the crazy. Dunks and so I started really eating crazy. Wow, wow. So, so what's next for Mr. Seven Twenty? Oh, I really, I, I still got plans going on to do the a bigger thing. You know, I, I really use this as a stepping stone. You right. Know, what I'm doing right now is really trying to get my business part of the, uh, the game going. Try okay. To learn different things. Uh, yes, the business. Things. Yes. Yeah. You know, maybe one of these days you might see me in the league. Huh. I mean, well, like, no problem. I'm supposed to be going to uh, some some cash trying to play in media. A lot of people respect uh, and want to see me. Right. Exactly. So, exactly. I said, Real I don't want to be showing like a really good football. I, I really can't play ball with this. You can't really showcase your skills because it's like you gotta play that role. Everybody yes. gotta play their own role. Exactly. It's like you can step outside that room. Exactly. 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 Who's your favorite dunker? My favorite dunker. Uh, <laughs> I say it, I, I gotta give it two, man. You gotta give all those new school. Right. Right. Uh, my right. Michael Jordan, old school, new school. Listen, man. DunkTV.com family, man. This is an exclusive interview, man. <laughs> you ain't gonna get no place else, man. This is Mr. 720 right here, man. We're really excited. We're here in Philly at the Wachovia Center, and we about to, we're going to give him his uh, actual award halftime. And, um, um, yo, man, you are the first one to win the Street Ball Dunk of the Year. Now, also, when we first started the Slam Dunk Awards, guess who got the first award, man? James White. He got the High School Dunk of the Year. That set it off. And from there, we've been giving the awards, man. But... You know, that's what Slam Dunk Awards is all about, man. Giving dunkers, recognizing dunkers, man. Because we are the hypest, hypest thing in basketball. Exactly. But we don't get the respect that's needed. And now tell me, do you, is it better for you to take off one foot or two? Uh, I'm actually a two foot jumper. Okay. But like right now, I'm getting my, uh, my one leg back. Because last year, uh, my last year, my, my first year trying out, I broke my, my, my left foot. Okay. So I was breaking my uh, one leg jumping foot. So I was like, I'm still trying to get it back. Uh, actually, two games ago, I jumped a bit off my one leg. Ah. It's the first time in a long time I've done that. Right. Real good. So I, I think it's coming back. But do you think it's more better off of two or it's one? It's more better for me off one because I got, I got more strength and more power off two. Ah, so exactly. If, if you see me coming down and you see me taking off one, you might have a chance to jump it. But if you see me taking off two, two forget about it. Forget about it's, it. It's, it's, it's over. For one, I got too fast. <laughs> right. It's, it's just over. over. You heard it first from, like I said, from Mr. 720. You here at the Rockovia Center, DunkTV.com, National Dunk Association of America, representing Slam Dunk Awards, man. Hey, like I said, man, we're going to follow you, and um, this is just the beginning. You know, we're just meeting, and, um, you know, you're doing some exciting things, and I'm just excited for what you're doing, and whatever and however we need to, you know, uh, support you, man. It's on like that, you know. So, like I said, man, any shout outs you want to do on DunkTV.com? You look good. Ball for Life, my little two little girls, man. We got a show coming out, the Main and Shane show, featuring Mr. 720. Check out the watches coming out this year, man. We're doing big and better things. Ballforreal.com. You just got texted, baby. You heard it first on DunkTV.com, Mr. 720. Peace.